Hi, this is Tech Mike and Y. The blue clips that secure a mini RAID controller in the Dell 12th generation servers are prone to break after exposure to heat over an extended time. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can replace these broken RAID clips to ensure your mini RAID controller is securely connected to the motherboard. The process will involve disconnecting all components from the motherboard so that you can access the bottom and screw in the new clips. The only tool you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver as well as new RAID clips. The server we are illustrating this process on is an R720 XD. Our tech removes the top access panel. Here you can see the RAID clips behind the processor. A close-up photo illustrates the discoloration and brittleness of the broken clips. Our tech begins disconnecting all of the components from the motherboard. With all of the components disconnected, pull on the blue pin and slide in the direction of the arrow. Then, very, very gently pull the motherboard out. Our tech points out the damaged clips that we will be replacing. Here are the new clips we are using. Note the consistent solid blue color, suggesting they have better integrity than the damaged ones. The two parallel screws are the ones securing the current RAID clips in place. Unscrew those screws. Then, when flipping the motherboard right side up, keep your hand underneath to catch the screws as they fall out. We'll be reusing them for the new clips. When installing the clips, Note that each clip has a slightly different contour. This contour is to ensure the placement in the correct socket. When you feel the clip secure in the socket, carefully flip the motherboard back upside down while keeping the clip in place. Make a visual confirmation that the clip is flush against the socket. Then screw in the new clip. You can test the newly installed clip to confirm it is secure and functioning by pressing on its lever. Repeat the process for the other clip, seating the clip in the socket, holding it in place as you flip the board upside down, and inserting the screw. Our tech confirms that both clips are secure and functioning. You will then need to reseat the motherboard and reattach all cables and components, taking care to ensure that no screws or other loose bits fell onto the server's base panel. Slide the motherboard back into place. You should hear a click and confirm that the blue pin has recessed back and locked the board in the server. Reconnect all cables and components, retracing your steps from everything you disconnected.
For more tutorials and insights into servers and tech in general, visit our blog on our website, techmikeny.com. A link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.